Hello there, this is Pete Howard, consignment director for Entertainment and Music for Heritage Auctions. And look at this gem. This is just ridiculous. I've heard it called stupid cool. Of course, stupid being the new adjective, just meaning very, very, very. Oh man, look at this. April of 1963 in England, Beatles were less than zero in America, and a promo poster from EMI Parlophone Records for their third single because, okay, Love Me Do did okay, Please Please Me went to number one, so we better start promoting these records. <laughs> this is the world's first Beatles promotional poster, other than perhaps a generic one, which just says the Beatles on Parlophone Records may or may not have come out after this. But this is the first anything for retail outlets to promote a Beatles record, and it's so rare. This is the only one I've ever seen in my life. I've been collecting the Beatles forever and their promo posters for decades. This is the only one. There actually is another one that's been spotted that had the right hand red box with their album in there. I'll get to that in a second. Um, torn Away. Somebody actually trimmed that off, knuckleheads, but this is the only, you know, that's so that's a half a one, right? This is just absolutely as rare as it gets, absolutely as cool and wonderful as it gets, just spectacular. Third single from me to you, naturally a number one hit, but this says actually at the bottom in the fine print, 463, and that was EMI's printer's code for, you guessed it, April of 1963. That is so early. Now the uh, Rolling Stones had a banner made for their debut album as well, here in America, and last year we got $15,000 for that, and I think there's four, yeah, there's four of those known in collector's hands. No other ones of these known. This, this is, this is it. I mean, it just smokes the Stones one, and of course it's the Beatles, and boy, I'll tell you, it's just, uh, you know, it, they're just so young and innocent. Look at them. It's just crazy. I mean, John is, has nothing close to a mop top yet. And with George, looks like he's still in high school. Look at that innocent expression, or scary expression, <laughs> what you want to call it. Um, just the, the, the pictures, just... Uh, and another amazing aspect of this thing is their album is marketed as an afterthought. Look at that, now on LP. Oh, oh yeah, this came out last month. We should mention this too, you know, tilted off to the side. This thing's promoting their third single, and EMI just chose to mention that, you know, the album came out, you know, a record which, you know, in America changed all of our li lives, and I should say the world around changed everyone's lives, and it's just the single was the predominant format for record and, uh, radio and retail at this particular time, so that's just an hilarious thing. And I love, by the way, the way they show the rare stereo cover of the Please Please Me album and not the mono cover, so... I'll tell you, promo poster-wise, this is my Desert Island piece. I'd take this over any other Beatles poster, second album, huge poster. This is small, but you know, there was no space at retail outlets back in 63. Not many record stores to boot, and there were department stores and everything. You had to use up very little space. So I'd take this over their second album promo poster, and the Meet the Beatles standee. There's dozens of them out there. You know, Dylan, Stones, Hendrix, Joplin, all the rock gods you want to name, nothing approaching this coolness and, of course, this rarity. So, and to see good pictures of it and to see a long description that I enjoyed writing, just visit ha.com slash 7238.